The Walking Dead series six, six episode two. Two. The start of the episode, slow. Dialogue, boring. Uh, yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> entirely sold on it, and I thought it was just gonna be one of those Walking Dead episodes that just sort of like trickled through. Then towards the end of the episode, you realize you learn what the horn is. That's what I thought it was gonna be. And 15 minutes in, there's a big fuck you because a lady goes outside to have a cigarette. Spoiler alert. I mean, if you're watching a Walking yeah, Dead you're recap, wa- you're watching a review. You're, you're pretty you're dumb. Bloody man. But if you're watching us, you're pretty dumb as it is. Uh, go outside, fucking hell. But <sighs> yes. see, lady going outside to have a cigarette. Don't smoke. There you go. That's a message for your kids. And and she dies pretty gruesomely, I must say. Yeah, those those dudes with the W's on their faces. They turned up. It's been a long time coming though, hasn't it? The W geezers. I mean. Well, yeah, like I said, it's been half a season. There's a lot of foreshadowing <laughs> building up towards them, and we both said last week after watching that first episode, there was a possibility that the base was attacked by those people. Yes. And it turns out we were right. It did also turn out they didn't intentionally turn the horn on. Yes. Deanne's son shot the driver of a truck that they brought in, presumably with zombies in the back, and it crashed and got stuck on the horn. So, yeah, they weren't, they weren't assholes. But we they didn't were quite see, nice. We didn't see the repercussions of last episode, the first episode. No, that we was didn't. what I thought was the weirdest, was you had this massive herd of zombies going off, but in this one, Morgan was back. We didn't see Rick or any of them lot. Sasha and Abraham and Daryl, I presume they were still leading the majority away. But there were a good, like, couple of hundred heading towards Alexandria because of that horn. I mean, they would have had to make a shit ton of noise to divert them. That's what I was going to say. All you, can, all you can presume is that Rick and Glenn, they managed to lead them back out. Because we didn't see them at all. There wasn't any mention of it. Yeah. It sort, it sort of ran parallel, didn't it, with the last episode, really? Because I wasn't sure to begin with whether or not it was another, like, what time we were in. But it seemed like it was as the mission was starting. We started with, uh, was it was it uh, the, the blonde lady's daughter, or the one that she took in? Was it her at the beginning, walking around and eating the turtle and stuff? I'm not sure, I think I can't that was really unrelated, remember. I think that was a different girl. I, unless it was, um, no, because that was JSS or whatever, and we didn't even learn what that oh, was. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the title of the episode as well, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, um, of course it was. But I'm not sure what that was, unless we've missed something. Morgan. He is a badass, but he's starting to like. He's becoming frustrated, you can tell, with the likes yeah, of Rick and uh, Carol, Carol. And people as well. That's not his thing, is it? No. Uh, he's, he's very um, on edge at the moment, and there will be conflict, I feel. Like, not violence, but there'll be like. Well, oh, I, I think he'll be like. He'll sort of try and be Rick's advisor, but Rick won't take much notice of him. No matter how much he reminds them that he is probably more experienced than them in survival. The horrible dialogue between Ron and his mum. Uh, he's, yes. he's not a good actor, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was just really, really awkward. Yeah, it was really awkward and forced. And there was like really long gaps between each yeah. time they said something. And he was like doing a sort of typical uh, teenager. Ooh, he's yeah. got his back hunched. She's like, Mum, what the hell? Ugh, I don't want my hair cut. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Uh, yeah, it's- God's sake. And that was my only real criticism of the episode. I think that was a really, really good episode. Yeah, it's been a good but start. The, the, it's just going to reinforce, people. for Rick, it's going to reinforce his argument that he made in the first episode about not letting people in because yeah. people are now going to be paranoid about who they're letting. Yeah, that's true. Um, and, about that. and equally, they're going to want to strengthen the um, borders. The borders, yeah. Of the little but I mean, we we there. still don't know as yet how their plans gone because, like I said, that sort yeah. of ran parallel. So as this episode ended, the zombies were only just then headed towards Alexandria. Yeah. So for all we know, they might bring a shit ton of zombies back with them, and they'll end up having to move again or something. Yeah. 